let's click OK again. Um, okay. So, okay, we're gonna go back. Hold on. We're gonna go back to video and set custom format. And if you were in the United States, it would be 720 by 4, 480 with YUY2, YUV4, uh, 422 interleaved. Uh, and I forget, it should automatically detect it if you're in the UK. And yeah, so click OK on that. And on audio, we're gonna go. You can set these right here if you want. Um, the enable audio capture that means capture the audio from the video. Uh, from your PS3 and if you, if, if you don't want to capture the audio you don't have to and you can actually do a voiceover as well while recording which means just uh, use the microphone while recording the video at the same time and uh, we don't have to mess with the compression or anything let's go over to capture and we'll go down to uh, uh, timing and you want to make sure these two boxes at the top of the general options are checked and the no frame burst is at 10 uh, that is very important. This means that uh, the sound that's coming from your uh, your uh, PS3 or Xbox will automatically sync into the video. Now you need to make sure the resync mode. Uh, you make sure this third box is checked. None of these boxes will be checked. Uh, make sure the audio latency determination is on automatic, and they are both on zero. And the direct shadow options. Make sure that the first box is only checked. Then click OK. Now that should be it. All you gotta do is go to file, uh, set capture file, and I'm just gonna do a test. Uh, we'll just replace it because I already had one. And then just to start it, all you have to do is do capture video, uh, capture video. So I'm just gonna do that real fast. So just to show you. Alright, I'm gonna stop recording now. Stop capture. And then uh, I'm going to go to file and I'm gonna go to exit capture mode. Now when I extra when I exit capture mode, um, it'll bring me up to this white screen right here. Uh, you wanna click on file and then you wanna click on open video file. Click on you find the uh, the video that you recorded just a second ago. Um, wherever you saved it at, mine is test and I uh, have mine in the videos. I'm gonna click open. And then you see it's kind of wide. So this is the before, and here is the after. So I'm just going to right click, and then I'm gonna just shrunk these down to 50 by 50. Or I'm gonna make it 66 by 66. Okay, just so I can see. Okay, now what you can do is you can head over to video, go down to compression, and make sure the DivX uh, 6.9.2 codec to logical CPU is um, selected just like we did a second ago and make sure it's the same settings. So just like I'm doing right now, make sure it's selected. And now what we're gonna do is I have, I have actually have processing settings where it automatically does it for me and I'll put these in the description so you guys won't have to do all the things that I do. But if you want, you can go to videos, filter, wait, no, not frame rate. Videos, filters, and you want to just add um, filters so I for actually did forget all of them but uh, I'll just give you the download so you can do it so how do you get the processing settings which is all the settings are saved I just go down to file and then I save them if well, you, you know if I found something good and I want to save it so I don't lose it so I actually already have mine so I can just click load processing settings